by far the hardest. We do all insulations and cellulose is by far the hardest. Now we got great equipment and we've been doing it forever so it's easy for us, but it's the hardest to teach somebody. Uh, you know, foam, anybody can spray foam in its stick. The problem with foam is you just got a bunch of idiots out there doing it and they don't get the proper mix ratio. They don't keep their foam warm in the winter. Uh, I had a guy from just outside of Knoxville call me the other night. He's working for it's not even his business. And he couldn't get his foam to work right. And what it comes down to is like, well, they don't warm their foam up. You gotta keep those barrels at about 80 degrees in the winter time. And you can't do that leaving your rigs out on the job site or taking delivery from them and taking them straight. We have to keep them in a, in a 75 degree shot for several days just so that the foam will work right. And there's just very few people doing that in cold climates unless they know what they're doing. So that's why you get a lot of bad foam out there. Even though it's stuck in the wall and it looks like it's gonna be fine, it's just not good foam because it's not mixed properly. That's the problem with foam is foam is manufactured on site. Uh, you're, whoever's spraying the foam is actually making the foam. So the company just sends you raw material and then you manufacture it. So, you know, foam, you need really smart people who've been doing it for a while, who have a nice heated shop, who take their rigs back home and put them back inside the heated area overnight, things like that. It's hard, man.